Well, boy, do we have an update for you. Oh yeah, look at that. Already? It just snapped. Now we do have another piece, a so. Corner. So like, that's our hull. This is a dock. Yeah. That's oh, the shit. that bugs me. So last week, we finally started the fiberglassing phase in the boat. And the whole purpose of doing the ribs and the stringers was to reinforce the hull so that Uma is just like this strong shell of a boat. And so while the guys were starting on the lamination, we decided to kind of make a replica just so for us to learn how the process works and also to show you guys how mm -hmm. everything goes together. And to sort and of like test the materials because we've never used vinyl ester and peel ply before. And so yeah. it, we, we always try to do like a little sample or a little test just to make sure that we know what we're doing and the materials are good. And, um, you know, especially the way we work, most of our materials are usually like two years old. <laughs> and well, let's just say that it didn't, <laughs> it didn't really go as planned. No. We were expecting to smash the heck out of that thing and throw it off the boat and drive over with the truck. And like, it, sh it should have been significantly stronger. So when we smacked it with the hammer a few times and it just popped off, like our hearts immediately sort of sank because Obviously our first thought was if this came off that easily, the whole boat's gonna come apart that easily and we just wasted a whole month of time, effort and labor and material. And you know, we sort of spiraled pretty quickly and lost trust in this whole process mm -hmm. and, and doubt just started creeping in. Yeah. I don't wanna over exaggerate things as we're doing all this work, but it kind of makes me worried now about this project. Yeah, I was expecting that bond to be like a lot better. So before we continue this refit, we need to do some investigation. Yeah. Um, so we got on the phone with some of our friends that are boat builders or know more about boat work than we do to get some answers. <laughs> yeah. Obviously it shouldn't have delaminated that quickly and that easily. So there's a lot of different factors that could have gone into that. Most likely it's user error, but we wanted to also make sure that all this work we've done inside of UMA is um, good. And so we um, walked our build process of the model through with our friends who know how to build boats um, and have shipyards and asked them you know, what their thoughts were. And that was very helpful. Yeah, what you showed me is pretty scary. Did you shape the, the foam after you glued it on? Uh... Yes. Okay, that's a big, big, big mistake. You must remember that the frames that you have inside your boat are actually curved and round. So even if it doesn't stick, it's still working. Right. So it won't let go like it did. Even if it delaminates, it's still gonna hold in the strength that you've, that you've got in the framework and everything like that is compromised maybe 20%. All I can think of is you've got those surfaces contaminated. One of the things that we've sort of come to realize is like all of this structure and all these ribs and all these stringers and all these bulkheads and all this like extra layer of glass that's gone in. Since we've basically created a new hull inside of our old hull, theoretically the whole exterior hull could delaminate. The whole thing could get removed and we'd still have all the structure and it would still be a watertight like surface because we have mm -hmm. two mils of, of fiberglass. It'd be very flexible, but it would still be watertight. So with that, like we're not, that would be like worst, worst, worst case scenario, but um, I think we're going to take a section somewhere back here in the cockpit that's going to be easy to repair and kind of deconstruct it a bit until our trust in the system is back uh, up and running. Uh, we've brought it up with the, with the contractors and they're going to help us and they want to make sure that, that nothing got messed up as well because mm -hmm. obviously they put a lot of work into this. From everybody that we talked to about our process and how it's done in the boat, so far like the, the one question mark that could be where we went wrong was the peel ply. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you guys were confused and curious about what peel ply actually does. There's, there's many reasons to use peel ply. So there's different types of resins as well. And if you're using peel ply with epoxy versus vinyl ester, it's different. Some resins won't cure unless they're sealed. 
because they're meant to sort of laminate and laminate over top and over top so you can add more layers and you get a chemical bond between the two. And if that's the case, the peel ply sort of acts like that last layer and the blush and the wax comes out to that. And then when you peel that off, you've got like a new fresh kind of still sticky layer of glass underneath you can laminate to. Vinyl ester, the resin we're using, isn't that. And so um, we could just laminate over top of it, but really what it does is it creates a nice unified texture and it's a clean texture. So all the, all the dust and all the debris and all the junk that's on the hull that you make grinding and prepping the next piece, when you're ready to laminate over it, you just peel the peel ply off and you've got a clean, fresh, new surface that has the right texture. And so you can glass right over top of that. Because in new boat construction, the last thing you want to do is get into a new boat with a grinder and make a whole bunch of dust. And it just creates a nice even surface. So if you're going to be painting over it or anything like that. The other main difference is like everything inside of our boat has been ground and, and scratched up a lot. And so we didn't do that to our hull sample because we we're kind of just using the peel ply texture. Um, but everything in here has been ground down to make it a really rough texture and clean. So everything that's been bonded onto that should be a really good, um, very good mechanical bond. So we're going to do a couple of tests on our sample. So we're gonna glass a piece back onto the other side just to see if it had something to do with the layers and which side cured and whatever. We're gonna wipe a section with acetone and glass the sample on, and then we're gonna wipe it with acetone and grind it to key it up a bit better. So we're gonna have sort of three test pieces and then once it's cured, we're gonna rip those apart. We're also gonna smack some sections of our boat with a hammer um, and try to chip some out with a, with a chisel and just try to get that doubt out of our heads and build our trust back in all this work that's been being done. Because if worst case, it had something to do with the material or the process that the guys were using, we need to know now before we start putting anything else back in the boat. So yeah, this, this week is gonna be getting our trust back in the system and then uh, putting bulkheads in, yeah. if that all goes smoothly. Hopefully we didn't just like waste months of our time and effort and material and energy, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's go hit some stuff with a hammer. So we've smacked uh, a chisel into some of the lamination inside just to try to see if we can like peel up a layer and see if we can pry it out. And yes, we can get it off, but you'd expect that. But what we're looking for was like ripping, tearing, like crunching and grinding, not just popping off a whole piece. That initial sort of surgical test went pretty well, but we're not gonna feel better until we hit something with a hammer. Somewhere right around here. We're not gonna smash it with the hammer directly like we did with our test piece because that will actually damage the glass. We know it will, but we're gonna put it through a piece of wood first so it kind of distributes that load and see if we can't get it to delaminate a little bit on the inside because that's a place where if we can, we can at least repair it, but we're really hoping that nothing happens. I've smacked the ever-loving crap out of multiple places on the boat. Uh, I'm gonna check with Kika to see how it went inside. Anything? No, which is good. Not, not, nothing is happening inside while you're hitting it. It good. makes me feel so much better. But it's also, I am. I feel like I should have been wearing <laughs> <Actually>, plugs. <laughs> it was that. really loud in there. I was smashing it about as hard as I could yeah. without breaking the piece of wood. Yeah, so no, I, I feel I feel comfortable with that. Nothing's been happening. It's just been shaking up some dust, and that's about it. So, cool. ah, this is good. This is this is such a good news. We had other expectations for that simple, for that replica piece that we made, which says I think why our heart got so like broken when we realized that it did not work out as we expected it to like it broke instantly and yeah and then it just made us like then was saying like it just made us doubt everything like is it us is it the boat is it the resin that was bad or 
is like that we were just waste a whole year on this project. And yes, I, I'm really happy that we investigated and it makes me feel better knowing that we can actually finish renovating this boat confidently. Like, I don't think we'll ever hit anything as hard as you hit this hole. Not hopefully. In like a, not in like a, a, a point of impact, no. Yeah. If we bump into a dock, it's like a big broad thing, so. Yeah. yeah. No, this was good. And inside looks exactly the same as before you hit it, so. Good. Good. All right. So this uh, light section that you can see coming through here, and this kind of gray, this is where the old uh, scupper drain came out. So I was hitting like right here and up into the rib, and I can't see any signs of delamination at all. This lighter section here is just the peel ply, but it would have been like white. It would have looked more like that if we could get it to delaminate. And I was hitting it hard too, it felt kind of bad. We're feeling much better about this whole thing. Um, but it does mean that we need to experiment more and figure out what went wrong with our test piece because starting next week, we're gonna be uh, laminating bulkheads in and we wanna make sure we're gonna do it right. So we do need to experiment a little bit more and figure out what went wrong, but at least it's looking good for Uma and that all this work isn't for nothing. So that makes me feel better. Does that make you feel better? It makes me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah. That's a pretty big sigh of relief. Um, trust is a tricky one and doubt is a tricky one because it like it just finds a little crack and it just wiggles in and then it just pries everything apart um, and it delaminates our whole process. <laughs> All right, so the first variable where it could have gone wrong is that this test piece that we laid up, this was technically the bottom. We put like a piece of plywood saran and then peel ply on it. And then we started laying up our layers and then put peel ply down over the top. And everybody we talked to was like, well, yeah, you take the peel ply off and you laminate right over top of it because it's like a nice clean surface ready to go. But because we flipped it over, because this was sort of flatter, and laminate on this side, there may have been some weird chemical vapor wax thing that happened. So to solve that, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna bond it directly to the other side. But the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do sort of three different versions. We're gonna bond directly to this side without it being untreated, even though we know it's a little bit contaminated. And then we're gonna do one section that's just wiped with acetone that has the same peel fly texture. And then we're gonna do one section where we wipe with acetone and then we grind it down a bit and scuff it up with some 80 grit on a grinder. So that's sort of like the ideal version and most similar to what's going on inside where it's all ground down. If you're gonna grind, definitely wipe it with acetone first because that's gonna remove any like wax and residue and grossness, then grind to scuff it up and make the texture. If you grind it first and then use acetone, you've just ground in all of that wax into every little porous fiber in the fiberglass and the acetone's not gonna take it all out. So acetone first, then grind, and then you can wipe the dust off or vacuum it off, which is fine. So we've got like three little pieces of foam. We're gonna glue those on. This isn't like a structural test. This is more of a bonding lamination test because as we saw in our sample that we made, obviously once we cut it open, the structure of that piece has diminished significantly. But the fact that it just popped off in one clean sheet and it delaminated one clean sheet meant that there's some sort of issue between the bonding of those two layers. And we didn't see that in the two layers between like the rib and the stringer. Those layers bonded together really well. So we're trying to figure out what went wrong here to make sure that we don't do it somewhere else. And as we've seen inside the boat, it, it really should like tear and rip and, and shred. It shouldn't just pop off in like a nice clean sheet. So this is sort of for our own mental state and well-being and to just make sure that we sort of figure out what went wrong so that we don't then redo it next week when we start gluing in bulkheads. We only did two layers of glass this time and we're not gonna need to use peel ply because that was the original sort of test was to kind of mimic what was going on inside. This test is just to see what the bonding strength is between our sort of hull sample and laminating on top of it. 
and so two is fine because we're just going to be tearing them off anyway. So we're going to let that bake in the oven and rip them off in a day or two once they have like a full chance to set and cure. All right, this morning we are back at the yard to test our round two of our glassing sample. So it's time to hit some stuff with a hammer again. Hopefully this goes better than it did last time. All right, so this is a pretty encouraging result. Just the peel ply sections and the part we didn't clean or do anything popped off pretty similarly and delaminated like our original test piece did. But the part that we That's cleaned with acetone first and then ground down ripped off just like it did inside the boat. So that's a pretty encouraging sign that what we're doing here and this, what they're doing in there is very similar because the interior of the hull has been ground down significantly, even more than this has been, which opens up a lot of the fibers and allows the resin to really soak in and, and bond to it. So of all the variables, grinding and making sure it's clean definitely makes the biggest difference. Why we didn't do that before is because we've been told that you can laminate directly over peel ply. Once you take the peel ply off, you can laminate directly to that surface. And maybe on like larger samples that might work, or maybe if we laminated um, quicker, like put peel ply on the next day, took it off and laminated rather than waiting like a week, maybe that makes a difference because we have heard from some reputable boat builders that that's what they do. But in our experiments, um, the cleaning and the grinding made the most difference. And so we're gonna go back to our old ways and make sure everything that we do uh, moving forward with this project, we clean it first, then grind it down and then laminate over it. So that was the biggest difference in the variables in all this test is the grinding. So noted. I'm glad we did this test. I'm glad we hit Uma with a hammer a few times and checked the uh, bonding quality of what's going on inside. And it definitely seems like all the grinding work we did on the hull uh, to prep made the biggest difference. So uh, our faith has been restored <laughs> in this repair and um, our trust is back in the system and uh, we're getting excited to uh, start glassing bulkheads in next week. So hopefully that helped clear the air. It definitely did for us. And um, we'll see you guys next week. Cheers.